Hello, okay, so this video is for Kurt Thompson, who recently asked for some tips on how to uh, place text on um, on an image, uh, a sign, so that the text uh, actually matches the perspective of the sign uh, using GIMP. So I am going to uh, show you what I know on how to do that, and hopefully it'll help. So I'm going to open a file that I uh, a JPEG that I downloaded of a stop sign that I found on the internet and uh, I'm going to control scroll up to enlarge the image so it's a nice size. Uh, another thing I like to do is I like to open my um, layers uh, little dialog window so you go to windows dockable dialogs and layers because I sometimes get lost as to which layer I'm working with and when you create text it creates another layer. Okay, so <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my colors there so that my text shows up as white. The foreground color is white. Then you want to click on your uh, text tool and then highlight or select an area about so big and then start typing and here I'm going to type vandalism. Okay, so you want, if I want to make it look like this, approximately it's the same size as the stop sign, the text size, I'm going to go over here and choose sans bold, and I'm going to make the text size a little bit bigger, 34. Okay, that should be big enough and then I'm going to choose the move tool right there click and then click on the text just to move the center of the text a little bit down there <clears throat> and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it to kind of match the rotation of that of this the stop letters so you go over here you choose your rotate tool and then you just kinda pretend to grab one of these ends and start rotating until it's approximately parallel to the stop, the bottom of the stop sign. So I'm kind of trying to match the same angle. And then when you're done, you just confirm the rotate and then see what you get. So that's approximately right, <coughs> uh, the angle. I'm going to move it a little bit into place, so I select my move tool. I'm going to move it right about there. And we'll drop it in place. And so now it's approximately the same angle, but you want to match the perspective now. So you go over to your toolbox and select the perspective tool, which lets you tweak the four corners of this um, layer, this text layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this corner over a little ways see if this is going to cooperate with me um, then move this corner over a little way so I'm kind of making like a parallelogram thing out of this move this corner a little bit in and this corner I don't know if I want to make it in or out alright let's see what we get here Okay, so we're getting there a little bit. Let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit more. Move this corner out. Wait for it to adjust. Move this corner in a little bit. And then confirm the transform. See what we get. You can see how that M is kind of lining up with the P. We want to get that lined up so that it looks like it's matching so I'm going to bring this corner in and down kinda of shrink the M also in the process Let's see what we get there as you can see we're getting closer let's confirm the transform and there you can see it's a little bit better let's go ahead and move it into play 
space there and then select that layer just to get rid of the selection and now I'm pulling away from it just a little bit to get it back to its original size of the image and you can see I kind of match it match the perspective closely um, you can probably do a little more tweaking with the perspective tool to get it just right and it actually looks like uh, somebody stamped that on the stop sign itself um, okay Kurt I hope that helped you and um, have a good day